That's a battle that's been going on for years, taking down Confederate monuments in Florida. That's right. An ongoing lawsuit regarding the removal of Confederate monuments has an update that could affect your money. On your side's Rich Donnelly joins us with the latest changes to this lawsuit. Rich. Yes, uh, Earl Johnson Jr. is a man on a mission. He doesn't want Confederate statues on public land. He doesn't want streets named after the Confederacy, and he doesn't want tax dollars going towards any entity that is named after the Confederacy, and that includes counties named after Confederate generals. It's one of the most hotly contested structures in all of Jacksonville, the monument to the women of the Confederacy in Springfield Park. It still stands to this day, and the word Confederacy is plain to see in multiple locations on the statue. Earl Johnson Jr. says that's a problem. Any use of public funding to honor the Confederacy on public land is, in essence, a governmental endorsement of white supremacy. According to Johnson's lawsuit, there are 47 different named tributes to the Confederacy in the Middle District of Florida, and that includes the names of five counties. Johnson filed a lawsuit saying that the use of tax dollars for Confederate monuments is unconstitutional according to the Civil Rights Act of 1964. The public accommodations portion of it prohibits any sort of public accommodation from having uh, discriminatory or discriminating actions or conduct based upon race or color. Jacksonville Mayor Lenny Curry is named as a defendant in this lawsuit. In May of 2020, he removed part of a Confederate monument in James Weldon Johnson Park. And the others in this city will be removed as well. But the phrase Confederate Memorial is still plainly on that same monument. This lawsuit is personal for Johnson. His father was Martin Luther King Jr.'s lawyer and used the Civil Rights Act of 1964 to desegregate Florida. 60 years later, I'm using the act to remove the symbols of white supremacy while he use the act to remove the actual signs of white supremacy, whites only, colored only. Earl Johnson Jr. is not asking for any money in his lawsuit, just a declaratory judgment and action by Mayor Curry and Governor DeSantis. Reporting Rich Donnelly, First Coast News, on your side.